Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. I'm here with a quick shipping video. I'm gonna show you how to ship a football helmet. Now this one here is an adult size helmet. If you're shipping a youth size one, you might need a little bit smaller box than this one, not too much. Uh, so let me show you the box that I like to use. It's right back here. And actually I get these from eBay. You can buy the same box from several other locations, whether it be Home Depot, Walmart, or some other stores around you, check it out. But I like the eBay one. This is a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And what's nice is they have these little pre-made bends in here in case your helmet doesn't completely fill up the box. You can make your bo box a little bit smaller, save yourself a little bit of space in there. So uh, first off, yeah, this is what we got. We just got our football helmet. Again, this is a Rawlings helmet. It's a full size helmet. So it just goes inside the box. And why I like the 12 by 12 by 12, you can see it literally fits perfectly inside the box here. All you need to do is put a little extra around it so it doesn't rattle around too much in the box. It's a football helmet. You're not going to hurt it during chipping, but you want to keep it from moving around as much as possible. I always have a lot of extras of these from Amazon, these little air pillows. So I will just put this around the ring of the helmet. Put it in here like this. It's nice and wedged inside like that. And I like to put one other little piece of paper or something on the top in case someone's cutting it open with a box cutter when they get it that they don't slice the helmet itself. I'm just gonna get a little piece of extra paper, put it over the top here. And like I said, this helmet doesn't exactly fill up the box. So I'm gonna cut down to this first mark here. I'm gonna get my box cutter. I'm just gonna cut inside the box here where those folds are. I'm gonna cut each of the four corners. And then you're going to fold down the flaps on each side. And your box is ready. Now you're going to have to tape it up and we're going to need to weigh it because that's going to determine how much it's going to cost you to ship this. You need a little bit more tape than that just to make sure that this doesn't open up for, but for our purposes right now, we're just going to use one piece of tape. We're going to get the scale. We're going to see how much this weighs. This helmet weighs four pounds, nine ounces when it's boxed up like that. So when you're calculating your shipping price, just know that it's gonna go at about a five pound rate for your standard helmet. For a youth helmet, it might get under that four pounds, but this one here, an adult size, about five pounds. This box is 12 by 12 by 11 after I cut it down. So you can put those dimensions into a shipping calculator on USPS.com or UPS.com, whatever method you're gonna use to ship these out. Generally, most football helmets, I do ship through UPS. They, send, they tend to be a little bit cheaper than the post offices. So I hope this video helps. If you want to find more shipping tips like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Check out my other videos. There's a lot of great ones in there for you to watch. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.